Hello everybody, my name is X Factor, and whether you're a veteran of the Battlefield franchise, recently logging a ton of hours in Battlefield 4, coming over to Battlefield 1, you might notice that your aim feels a little bit off when you ADS or ADS, a little bit twitchy, or if you're new to the franchise, we're going to go over how to fix that, and of course, all the customization options to get your sensitivities, and of course, the distances in which you travel to aim on point, because at the end of the day, it's something that has to feel right to you. If you're over aiming or under aiming a ton, you might need to lower your sensitivity. And the first thing that comes into mind when we talk about sensitivities, it has to do with DPI. So if I say my in-game sensitivity is 4% up here, that means absolutely nothing unless you know my DPI. Some of the top professional players in competitive shooters play anywhere from 400 to 600 to 800 DPI. No real need to go much over that. I've just used 1600 for a long time long time the higher your dpi the more twitchy you're going to be the lower more than likely that you're going to have to go in game so think about this i'm 1600 dpi at four percent and i've actually lowered my sensitivity over the last year or so and this is something you are able to measure so if you've set up your sensitivity in overwatch or battlefield or cs you can easily copy that over and this involves doing some pretty little circles and notating the distance and you could do this with a post-it note or just make some marks on a legal pad of paper with your mouse cable so put the legal pad underneath your mouse cable and you need a starting point because we're in a non-starting server here there is no crosshairs but you get the point we're going to look at this and we're going to start doing circles so we're actually going to mark a start point on the legal pad of paper and we're going to do a couple pretty circles Okay, making sure we drag the mouse cable along, or maybe you've got a post-it note, or you're just going to make a simple mark on your mouse pad. You're going to want to do this five or six times to make sure it's accurate. You're going to go pretty slow. You're not going to want to go fast, maybe a medium pace. And as you can see here, this is kind of the speed that I do it when I go about making sure I'm not going too far up or too far down adding more distance and again we don't have a crosshair here so that's not going to be perfect so do that five or six times maybe you play a ton of overwatch or battlefield 4 previously and you want to bring that sensitivity over that's how you do it so again it starts with your dpi it ends with your in-game sensitivity and that's the way you tweak it is with your dpi you can scale your dpi down or up just to get that as close as possible or dead on if you want to edit your config file, then you can even mess with some of the decimal places. But I was able to nail mine at 4% at 1600 DPI. So when I do a 360, a complete turn, we're talking anywhere from probably 13 to 13 and a half inches now is what my sensitivity is. Again, something I've lowered over time. So the second part of your sensitivity is a bit more complicated because they've kind of changed the way it works in Battlefield War. It's your ADS, which is aiming down sight. Now, there's two different factors going on here, including one of which we're not going to talk about, which is called Universal Soldier Aiming. That's something available in Battlefield 4 thanks to the creation of CTE. We're not even messing with that. So let's actually redeploy, but I want you to notice something. We're going to stand on this pile of bricks here, and we're going to look over this way. Notice the zoom level. I've set all my irons, with the exception of one weapon, to 1.25 zoom level. And this is something that you're able to do, which is another level of customization. But whenever you talk about zoom level, you're talking about different distances to travel to do a 360. And there's tons of different options when it comes to this. So now we take a look at our BAR Storm. We go to Customize and the little gear here. And you're going to notice the magnification levels. All of my irons, whether it's shotguns, whether it's the BAR, whether it's some of the LMGs in the game, I've set them all to 1.25. You could set it to whatever you want, but it makes sense to match up all those sensitivities, which you now have options to do. So with that said, we could change that to 2.0. We could make that a little bit more of a magnification. But this is a pretty close to medium range weapon. You don't want to be over zooming your target. So we simply go back in. We're going to redeploy here, and we're going to go back to our bricks, okay? And there are a couple of mistakes here, which I'm going to go over here in a second, uh, where DICE didn't properly hook the right zooms in. And we're going to go into our controls. So we're actually going to go to the Advanced tab, and this 
is all your ADS sensitivities. But be careful. Just because you picked a 1.25 magnification on a specific weapon doesn't mean it's a 1.25 in here. So my SMLE Marksman, my primary sniper rifle, which I've already logged 2,000 kills with, is a four-time optic zoom. According to the menu selection I made, I actually had to adjust the 3.5. So be careful what weapon you're doing. So now we have a reduction in ADS. I'm running 75%. So I like a reduction with my ADS, whether it's a sniper rifle or it's irons on something. So we've got our hip fire acquisition and then fine tune aim. Slow it down just a little bit. Cause a little bit more distance to travel on the mouse pad compared to the distance that you see on your screen. Okay, it gives me a little bit more fine tune aim as we kind of try to hit the bars in the background. But this is something you could tweak. You could make this super, super, super slow, or you could even speed it up if you want. Remember your zoom level. Let's do 10%. And this is how ridiculous this is. And this is based on your hip fire, of course. So now that doesn't affect my hip fire, right? So I'm kind of throwing my mouse around about three quarters of the distance of my mouse pad. This is a full swipe of my mouse pad, right? It's barely moving, okay? So that's a little bit ridiculous. So we go back to what feels right. And this is something that you can marry all your weapons to. You can actually change your two times sensitivity to match your 1.25 when it comes to distance. Again, this is something you need to double check because not everything's set up or done perfectly. I'm going to show you a perfect example. One weapon that I actually run irons with a two time uh, magnification is called the Martini. Why do I do that? Because it's a medium range weapon. It one shot kills in the chest from 30 to 80 meters. And it has a very, very, very low velocity. Therefore, you really need to see your target to basically lead them out. So let's take a look here. Let's take a look at our Martini Henry. Go to the customization wheel. You're going to see the 2.0 magnification. All right. So we can go in here and we'll show you the different distance. Remember that we've been standing on those blocks there to give you guys kind of a perspective here. So we're a little bit further from our blocks. We're going to go over here to the, the bricks. And... That's a 2.0 customization. Now, if I wanted to take the time, I could set this up to be the exact same distance traveled to do a 360 while ADS as well my 1.25. And again, I'm not done completely tweaking. I just want to put you guys onto this idea. All you need is something to make marks on, a legal pad of paper, the mouse cord over that legal pad of paper to do a start and finish, but always pick something upright. So that telephone pole is pretty bad or that electricity pole, I should say, is pretty bad. You would want something like this, right? Where it's stationary, it's up and down, it's completely straight, vertical, and then you have a fixed point as you're doing your circles. So let's show you one more instance where something is broke. And again, this is the SMLE Marksman. Uh, again, you wanna check all your snipers. So I prefer the 4.0 magnification. I'm a very PTFO, play the objective sniper. I'm up close and personal. I don't want over zooms. I don't want to be downtown bombing people. I want to kill people that are on flags or close to flags or fighting their way to flags or me getting from one flag to another as quick as possible. So as you can see, there's the 4.0 magnification here. Uh, and then we're going to go back and we're going to showcase this because, again, there are some issues here. And again, this is a completely customizable distance. Now, when it comes to my sniper rifle, I want a little bit more of a reduction. Okay, because I want to find them with the hip and then finish it up. Because if you found out, if you're standing still in Battlefield 1 and you're just sitting here, you're dead. You've been killed by an LMG with a bipad or you've been counter sniped across the map. So with that said, here's an example, right? That's 4.0. We're going to go to controls. We're going to go to advanced. Let's turn that 4.0 all the way down to 10%. So this should be snail's pace, right? No, still what I had before, Okay. So for this, and this is this is crazy. So what I'm telling you is double check everything. Is I look at the three five. Okay. Now the question is, is this actually a three point five magnification, or is it a four point oh? And they mislabel it within the code. So be very careful. So what I'm saying is, if you're trying to adjust your sensitivity in an empty server, make sure you double check and throw it all the way 10% or all the way to 200% to see a drastic difference before you start fine tuning that magnification more than likely this will be cleaned up in the next couple weeks or the next couple patches i believe it is something dice knows about so this is how you set up all your custom sensitivities whether it's your hip fire or your ads let's say you love your ads 
sensitivity on your irons and you want to port that over from the 1.25 to the 2.0 you want the same distance that is something you are able to do or you want a bigger reduction the higher the zoom magnification that you go so the larger range scopes the larger zooms have more of a reduction in the sensitivity so you have even more fine-tuned aim over the distance you are perfectly capable of doing that now this is the most customizable system that dice has ever brought forward no matter what your sensitivity is you can find a solution and remember if you're over aiming or under aiming a ton your sensitivity is more than likely too high lower it you can start off by doing it drastically or you can start off by lowering it five to ten percent every couple of days so as you get used to it you can lower it some more so it's not this drastic swing. So your hip fire, you can actually walk through doors and not completely miss door frames and whatnot as you're flicking your mouse around, which is extremely important. If you're not comfortable, you're not going to do well, you're going to be frustrated, and you're probably going to rage quit. Hopefully you guys found this guide helpful. If you guys have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them down below. And of course, I'm not done with my settings. Once I'm done, I'll do one final guide, again, explaining why I've done this. But at the end of the day, it's what feels right to you. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you guys soon.